ओपन ब्लेंडर इन यूनिट्स चेंज लेंथ मीटर्स टू सेंटीमीटर्स सेलेक्ट ऑल वर्टिसेस मूव इन जी एक्सिस चेंज द वैल्यूज इन डायमेंशंस फॉर रैंडम मटेरियल सेलेक्ट दिस डिलीट दिस फेस Select this face. Inset. The inset is not working properly because in the scale, the value should be one for all. I mean x, y, z. So, Control A. Apply scale transform. Now inset is working properly. Again inset. Move in z axis. Add. Bevel modifier. Change the values. Shade smooth it. Add edge loops. Scale the edges. Bevel the edges. Add edge loops here. Scale these edges in x-axis. Delete the edge loop. Add two edge loops. Select the faces. Insert them. For loop tools, go to preferences. Search for loop tools. Click on circle. Fit inside. Click on dot key on keyboard. Then we will get these options. In this, click individual origins. Then scale them. Delete the faces. Select this edge loop. Scale it. Click F and insert extrude. Delete the faces. In edit mode, rotate in the x-axis. Take curve. Rotate in z-axis. Bring the hook shape. In curve properties, go to geometry. In round, adjust the value. Convert to mesh. Delete these side edges. Scale it in x axis. Give shade smooth. Fill with faces. Move these vertices. Add an edge loop here. Add subdivision surface modifier. It is very big in edit mode. Take shrink, flatten, make it small size. Delete this edge loop. Add bevel modifier. Adjust the values. Here some mesh problem came. These vertices are very near to other vertices. Move them. Here also. Add array modifier. Move to first. Apply the rotation transform. Take height. Move in the x axis. For applying all modifiers, go to preferences. Search for modifier tools. We have now these options. Click on apply all. Apply all. Add solidify modifier. 
tick to face orientation for the checking the faces whether they are outside or inside this red color indicates the face are inside click shift and for this we are giving the thickness here mesh problem came let's see after applying the modifier here are extra edges that's why the mesh problem came we have to remove the edge loop control x then select these words is click j this edge loop is here and control x now the mesh problem is solved combine these two objects now the wall hanger modeling is completed subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you for watching